Hi, I'm Kino McGregor. We're here at Miami Life Center. Today we're going to be taking a look at some techniques for Shirshasana, or headstand. Alexandra's going to be my model today, and we're going to break that down into something you can easily try at home. You want to start off in a nice seated position, um, and then you would enter the posture by leaning forward, checking your distance by holding on to the elbows. You want the elbows to remain approximately the same distance apart throughout the whole motion. Then you take the hands forward, interlocking the fingers, and you want to make space for your head to fit right down. Place your head down on the ground, and then stand your legs up. Now, you want to be careful that when you stand your legs up, you keep the shoulder girdle open. You want to make sure that the deltoid is engaged, there's a nice space between the shoulder and the ear so you're able to feel all of the openness along the upper back. Then you keep that solid foundation and you step and walk the feet as far forward as you can. You'll notice that what's also coming forward is the hips have to come forward over that nice solid foundation. So you walk as close as you possibly can in, never losing the structural integrity of the shoulder girdle. A lot of people like to jump right from here but I'm a fan more of transferring the weight slowly. The easiest way to do that is to lift one knee into the chest. So you want to feel the knee squeezing into the body. So you feel the ribs squeezing in. Activate your transverse abdominals and the pelvic floor while you squeeze everything in. Say to yourself, I send my pelvis forward over the solid foundation of the arms. Stay for five breaths and go ahead and put that foot down. And let's try the other leg. Squeeze the other knee into the chest. Really squeeze and gain contact of the thigh all the way into the chest. Squeezing the ribs in. So you want to feel this middle portion of the body really squeezing in on itself. When you're ready for lift off, you'll find that the other foot is really just coming onto the toe and the knees come into the chest and you slowly transfer the pelvis forward until it gets into balance, straightening the legs as slowly as possible. Don't rush the motion. Then, if you want to practice going up with straight legs, you might want to try bending at the pelvis, right at the hip joints, to lower yourself slowly all the way down. You'll notice how far forward the pelvis has to come. Then, see if you can wait with your energy all the way thrusted forward. Keep the structural integrity of the shoulder girdle by pressing down. Come onto your big toes and transfer the weight forward to lift your feet off of the ground. Don't jump or go too quickly in the motion. Motion. Stay for a nice long movement, sucking in on the stomach, lifting all the way up and reaching the energy all the way out through your big toes. Remember to keep a nice solid foundation in Shirshasana. The Hatha Yoga Pratiprika is actually explaining that headstand benefits are only felt for after a minimum of like three to five minutes. You wouldn't want to try that on your first headstand, but staying inverted brings a nice level of health and healing into the body, stimulating energy centers within the brain and giving you strength in the shoulder girdle. My teacher, Shri K. Patabi Joyce, always said that headstand meant strong shoulders. Another thing to be conscious of is not dumping weight into the top of the head, but feeling strength and stability in the posture. After about 25 or potentially even 50 breaths, you'll know you've taken that three to five minute headstand, and then you would want to bend at the waist, again, shifting the pelvis forward, sucking in on the belly to come halfway. This half headstand really challenges your core strength. You want to make sure that the belly is sucked in, the pelvis transfers forward, so we get this angle of the torso. It requires good spatial orientation. After 10 breaths here, you inhale, slowly tipping the pelvis back to the center line, coming all the way into balance, and then exhale again, all the way back down. You'll notice again, the pelvis has to shift far off of the center plane on the way down. And then you would enter child's pose, letting the blood in circulation stabilize, feeling the sense of ease return to the body. I'm Kino McGregor, and these are some tips for working on Shirshasana or headstands.